Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Scorpios. Scorpio, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Scorpios for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Scorpios, please, for their highest and greatest good. All right, we have the Six of Pentacles coming out in reverse as the overall energy. And it does look like you've got somebody here who's holding back. This is Moon and Libra energy. Ooh, they're viewing you as drained, Scorpio, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, because the overall energy with the Six of Pentacles showing up in reverse tells me that this may have been an imbalanced connection. This person may have been juggling or they may have been breadcrumbing you. It does look like they're holding back. They may have a decision here in love between you and someone else. Okay, we have the Chariot card in reverse, Cancerian energy. Ooh, and we have the Queen of Swords coming through in reverse. All right, the Knight of Swords tells me that you have some sort of clarity or some sort of communication coming in. And some of my Scorpios, maybe you've been left into the in the dark as to why things came to a full stop here. Now, unfortunately for some of you, it may be because this person had other options or moved in a different direction or was possibly juggling you and someone else. Scorpio, I feel like you really do love this person or you really had high hopes for this connection. But what I don't love is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse because this tells me they know that you're feeling drained, that you were probably always reaching out, making dates, you know, putting in the effort here. So the Six of Pentacles in reverse is telling me that there is definitely some sort of imbalance here. Um, I feel this person knows that you're disappointed or that you've been left out in the cold. All right, we get the Justice card. They may be trying to come in to make it up to you. Um, you could be dealing with a Libra here, but a lot of my Scorpios, I feel like you've probably already found balance on your own, but I do feel like there's a little bit of confusion as to why things happened the way they did, why they treated you this way. And again, I think we're going to get that confirmation. Um, and we see the five of five of cups. So they know that, they, that you've been hurt, that they've disappointed you. I think this person has also hurt themselves in the process, to be honest. So I do feel like they're coming in with some sort of communication, but right now with the two of swords, they're holding back. Um, they're watching, they're waiting, they're trying to see what's up. They're trying to figure out what's the best way to approach. Look at this. The seven of pentacles flew out in the upright and then uh, went reverse there pretty quickly. So this person wants to make it up to you. This person may be ending something with someone or ending some sort of situation in order to come towards you. Now with the chariot card in reverse, maybe they were dealing with a cancer. Maybe they have cancer in their chart, but it could also be distance. So maybe this person, you know, if they live at a distance, they're moving towards you. You know, not for all of you, is it a third party situation like a romantic rival, but certainly for some of you, it is. But for some of you, they were holding back and they didn't want to move things along because they, I don't know if they travel a lot for work or they don't know where they're going to live. Um, you know, maybe if their, you know, their job is up in the air or their living space. Um, so they have, they are ending something and I do feel they want to come in and make it up to you. Look at that. The King of Cups, this person is realizing that they have a lot of love for you. Okay. Now, if somebody, if they had you in a third party situation, Scorpio, again, no good reader is going to recommend that you give this person a chance or that you go back to them or you put yourself in some sort of unhealthy or imbalanced situation. What I'm connecting with right now or whom I'm connecting with right now are my Scorpios where this person, maybe it was their business or their job or travel or their living space that was the third party intervention. Okay, or interference here. And this person's realizing, regardless, they have a lot of love for you. They want to make you some sort of offer and they want to make it up to you. They know that you're feeling drained. They're a little bit worried that you're not going to give any time or effort to them or to the connection. All right. And we see the wheel of fortune in reverse. So again, possible distance. Scorpio, some of you, you may have just pulled back your energy because you weren't getting your needs met or you were feeling like this was imbalanced. You know, I feel like there's, what I just heard is like, maybe this person was making you feel like a chump because you were the one that was always reaching out. You were the, always the one to be like, you know, making dates and they were kind of nonchalant or kind of non-committal here. But this person wants to heal things with you. They want to be in a higher level of commitment with you. Um... But I also feel like you've pulled back your energy because there was quite a lot of conflict here, internal conflict, because they weren't pulling their weight, Scorpio, um, or there was just too many obstacles. So with the chariot card in reverse, um, let's see, why is this here? 
I see this person's moody, maybe a little bit suspicious, possibly a little bit clingy, hasn't fully let you go. And most likely they are coming back around, Scorpio. Yeah, the world card. See, they've ended something because they want to be with you. For some of you, they've ended a third party. For others of you, like I said, it's a job or a living situation that has stabilized and they're either moving to where you are um, or, you know, they're, they're open and available. And we get the magician card. This person, I would expect as Mercury goes direct sometime in Libra season, you know, the, or the end of Virgo season, Libra season, that this person's going to reach out. They're going to take action. They're going to try to manifest you back. They're going to do everything they can here, Scorpio. And with the Queen of Swords in reverse, I see, though, it's important to make sure that you can release any past baggage so that you can move forward either with this person or on your own. Because I do feel like there's a little bit of anger or resentment here. Now, I'm a Scorpio moon. I know how difficult it is to let go of hurt and disappointment. I mean, we do definitely hold grudges. You know, it's not our it's not one of our strong suits, but again, we are we are very sensitive. We tend to hold grudges. Yeah, so there's something here from the past that ne needs to be released. Can it be released, Scorpio? Is this something that you can forgive or you can um you know, can you let go of? We've got the knave of chalices, so you definitely have an apology coming in. You have somebody wanting to come in and make an effort. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, they're really worried that you're not going to um, take them back. You're not going to hear them out. You're not going to accept their apology. And again, Scorpio, you know what's best for you. If it's forgivable, um, what this person, you know, what they've done, how they've behaved, you know, you know whether or not that it's something you want to work on or not. And so it could be really 50-50 for some of you. But the truth of the message is here that you absolutely are going to be receiving some sort of message. It's going to come in quickly. It feels like it's an apology. This person's doing what they can to win you back or to win you over. I do apologize about background noise. Um, if you're picking up on the people yelling on the street, it's common occurrence here. All right, let's see. <clears throat> What else do we need to know about this person? This person, for some of you, they've divorced or they've ended some sort of contract, a work contract or something like that, or maybe even like a lease. This person may be much younger or maybe this person, you know, there's an age difference between you and them, but I'm actually seeing more than anything Scorpio with this much younger energy. I feel this person has released some burdens, but they're going to look like healthier, happier, more relaxed. And this person, okay, maybe they've had some sort of an awakening, maybe a come to Jesus moment. I know that's not for all of you, but you know what I'm saying. It's an aha moment. They're seeing that they don't want to miss an opportunity with you. And for some of you, it's confirmation this person has dark hair and eyes, or that could be your energy. All right. But I do feel like this person's making like a genuine effort to heal things and make things right with you, Scorpio. It's really just going to be up to you about whether or not you can release that past baggage. Remember not to replay hurt and disappointment too much, Scorpio. It keeps us anchored in a lower vibrational timeline and only really hurts us. Okay, so I'm not saying that you have to forgive this person if you don't want to, but remember it's not good to carry around, you know, that resentment or anger because again, it really only just lowers our vibration. And, and, and saying that, it doesn't mean that when you forgive someone or you release that anger or resentment that you're saying it's okay that anybody mistreats you. You're just saying, you know what, I'm not going to let it to continue to affect me. Okay, my dear Scorpios. So let's see what else we need to know. Oh, I just got chills. So this person, so Spirit's saying you may, some of you are going to take a chance or risk in hearing this person out or maybe giving them a second chance. I do see this person is taking a leap of faith, even though they know it's really a possibility that you're going to shut them down. Ooh, all right. So there's potential for happiness, expansion, and joy, enjoying each other, oneness, and playfulness here. And Spirit saying, make healthy choices. So really be discerning. Don't rush into anything here. And Spirit saying, learn from the past. So don't repeat any past mistakes. But I am getting like a really strong thread here, Scorpio, that this is somebody that is trying to do better. It's wanting to do better and that there's potential for them to actually back up their words with action. But of course, Scorpios, you have the best intuition of all signs in the Zodiac. So trust your intuition, trust your heart, your body, your mind. All right. When it comes to this person, because a lot of you, you already know, you already know if it's a good idea or if you would take this person back or you would hear them out or not. All right. And we get, yeah. So divine timing is at work in your love life. All right, so is this person worth waiting for? And again, waiting does not mean you put your life on hold, holding space for this person or for this connection. 
Okay, pay attention to the red flag. So don't sweep anything under the rug, Scorpio. Even if this is something that you really want, even if let's say it was work or distance that kind of got in the way here, Scorpio, what I'm seeing here is the signs are cautioning you. So, you know, address what needs to be addressed. Have those uncomfortable conversations. Set boundaries, set your expectations. Remember the right person is never gonna be scared off by you standing in your truth and telling them what you need. All right, and so we do have an, a new person in your life. Some of my Scorpios, you're ready to move on from this person. Um, for others of you, this is just a new cycle in love, okay? And Spirit's saying, keep an open mind so your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it here. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box. Sorry about the dog. Um, for a private reading. Love and light, Scorpios. Take care.